Fuck. Excuse my language. But I dropped my combo. This will make a pretty good example for the high score video just because it's so bad yet the score is still decent. That's how strong Cinderella is. So there you have it, uh, the Cinderella high score video, even though I played horrendously to the point where I had to use the French word, um, but yeah, Cinderella is quite possibly better than Surprise Elsa, and um, there, there are a couple differences that make them even to some degree. For example, when you use Surprise Elsa's ability, the time is frozen until you execute the uh, Snow G's. Uh, however, during Cinderella's skill, the time still counts down. But on the other hand, with Surprise Elsa, you can get a maximum of three time bubbles for each skill you use. Uh, but with Cinderella, I've had four, I've had five, so really it's kind of a toss up, but I think Cinderella is still probably the better of the two. Uh, now the other thing to consider is, of course, your zoom level and your own level. So look at that. I have in my support zooms a level eight, a level 20, my Cinderella is level, uh, let's see here, what level is she now? Level 16. Her score is only 550. So yeah, she's really good. Um, but to the gameplay, I'll stop raving on about how amazing Cinderella is. Uh, what I found works the best is... Um, at first I tried going horizontally, just straight lines, but I found that that didn't clear enough zooms to give you the time bubbles. So then what I started doing was, um, I basically selected the bottom most row at the, uh, on the bottom of the playing screen, okay? So that's more like a U shape. It's almost like a smiley face, right? So that, that was kind of the sweet spot for getting those time bubbles. And now, um, the reason I start at the bottom is because obviously zooms fall from the top. So you swipe left to right or right to left, and then again, left to right, right, you know, you alternate back and forth. 
Uh, usually after about the fourth or fifth swipe, there are too many bubbles accumulating um, on the bottom and on the sides. So at that point, I start swiping upwards between the bubbles uh, into the falling zooms, if that makes sense. Uh, so if you're observing that into, in the actual video, you, you'll kind of see what I'm um, doing there. Uh, so that's essentially the main part of the skill. You alternate in U shapes or smiley faces, left to right, right to left, and then when both sides of the screen fill up with magic bubbles, you start swiping up between the bubbles. And the reason that is, and this is the second part of her skill, that is absolutely vital. Every time you hit a gap or a magic bubble, uh, the chain ends. So you have to be very careful to continue uh, making the chains without hitting any obstacles, so to speak. So uh, you, if the bubbles start getting in your way uh, and you can no longer go bet bet between uh, through them, uh, then that is essentially the point where you're no longer efficiently using her skill and you're wasting the time. Um, on that note, if you still have bubbles on the screen before you execute her skill, they will get in your way. So there's a few instances in the video where I simply started blowing up the bubbles even though her skill was already charged. So essentially I'm wasting a bunch of Cinderella zooms, but really you're not. Because if you leave like three or four bombs on screen and then you're just ramming the skill into it, you basically wasted the skill to begin with. So it's better to get the extra little uh, few points from just popping the bubbles and clearing a few extra zooms than to completely waste one instance of the skill altogether. Uh, what other tip did I want to give you? Again, um, there is one more. Uh, keep an eye out on um, how far your skill has charged already while you're executing the swipes. Um, the reason for that is, as you saw, I dropped my combo coming out of um, one of the skill animations and that kills your score. Um, you can easily get six, 700 combo with Cinderella, in my opinion, if you're playing uh, really well. Uh, so keep an eye out on that. Uh, the other thing is uh, the, the third or fourth, whatever tip I'm on now, um, do not be afraid to link other chains to create those time bubbles. So if you see like there's a, uh, a giant head or whatever uh, don't just waste the bubble to pop it unless you're about to activate her skill uh, but if you know you're a ways away from uh, accumulating enough Cinderella's for the skill uh, don't pop them uh, try to create time bubbles with those as well uh, again that's that's the name of the game the time bubbles and I think those are basically the four key components to um, basically getting an unlimited score with Cinderella. I think once I get her to level 50 and the support zooms are gonna be at least level 30 each, I'm gonna say minimum 30 million with her top score. Um, I'm sure you can get even higher than that. Uh, but that does it for this extremely lengthy high score video. I hope I, I didn't stutter too much. I'm, I'm not the best public speaker. Uh, but I hope that gives you an idea of how to fully utilize her ability and uh, a few of the pitfalls that might uh, prevent you from doing so. And uh, if you have any further questions or uh, if you have some tips for me uh, or video requests or anything like that, please leave all of that in the comments section and I will get to it as quickly as I can. And again, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.